Try to position the lighting so I can see myself. I can see myself as I'm on a monitor. I'm on top of my screen, on my phone right here. So that's my setup. I'm wearing a hoodie. My Nike Ninja hoodie. It's bad luck. I bad omen to wear hoodies inside of my yogurt. But I eat. Take a good long, long, hard think. Myself, I think you can see me a bit more if I take my glasses off. Here. I'm doing this with the lights and blinding, I can see myself, etc, etc, etc. You know, I just had a thought, and I'm about to write a bunch of my thoughts down so I can go through my thoughts, probably record maybe like 5, 10 videos in one go, which is quite intense, because they're all like 10, 15 minutes each, right? But I really want to get like that mental exhaustion, because I feel, I feel as if there's a lot on my mind I really haven't talked about of the camera is just waiting to be talked about and you know this quiet moment in the night I feel like it's very very important for me to use appropriately because I can't really sleep at this time because I'm a retard I'm an idiot guys I'm, an idiot. I'm very stupid ladies and gentlemen and I, 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 I want to see sleep as a non-negotiable but I can't because I'm just not a smart individual. Like Brian Johnson said before, like, you sleep, it must be non-negotiable. That's how you get good sleep. And you always try to routine your sleep and try to get eight hours a night, etc., etc. But I, I am an idiot. I don't see it that way. What I want to talk about today is, huh? How the fuck is he sneezing? Sparkly water. Sparkling water, you see it? Sparkling water. You know, I'm steadily reaching the age of 18. And I'm reading a book called, I'm learning this video, Get a Job Baby. Um, and it's going to be a bit more personal. Like it always is, it's a personal channel, right? I'm reading a book called The Millionaire Fast Lane, rereading it again. So I feel like I generally understand it, and on my second reread, I feel like I'm understanding it so much more. I'm appreciating the book so much more. I only read for half an hour today, which is quite sloppy, but then I decided I wanted to try to do some work, which I ended up not really doing, like an idiot. You know, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, I'm almost 18 and don't really have anything going on for me in my life too much. At boxing, not that good at boxing. I am trying to get better. I actively do want to become better, but it's hard. You know, business, entrepreneurship, I don't make enough money. Straight up. I don't make enough money. I am making more, like, yeah, justifiable. Fitness, I'm not in the best possible shape. Reading, I don't even read enough. I've been reading this one book, 40 Laws of Power, for more than a month now. Should have been a week. I think it's been, it's been like three weeks. I mean, slacking on the 11th of the 5th. Should it be my finished date? Seven days before that, which is the fourth or the fifth. Today's the thirtieth. These are twenty-six days that I haven't read. Did I ask? Hey Siri. Did I even call you? Hey Siri, stop bugging in my conversation. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> and my mom was telling me today, like, you're always just home alone. And like, you don't ever get feel lonely. Like, one of them once again. But I'm like, I'm kind of busy with work now, so I don't really feel too lonely. But 
just write on some aspects. Just write on some aspects, I have to admit the truth. Like, don't you ever feel alone at home? You're always home all the time. But to me, I'm not just always home. I'm seeing incremental but powerful changes with my body, with my mind, with my knowledge, my workflow. I'm seeing incremental changes and they, honestly, they clearly aren't enough. I need more change, I need more power, I need more. And it's kinda like, it's kinda pissing me off because it's true, like, I want to be rich, I need to be rich, I have to be rich, I say it all the time, those three wants, needs, haves, right? But, unless you could say to yourself how many times you want, you will not become rich by saying you want to be rich, or you have to be rich, or you need to be rich, you will become rich if you take action that develops yourself towards becoming rich, towards the, the need to become rich. I clearly don't need to become rich if I'm not actively pursuing it to the best of my ability, if I'm procrastinating my work, I'm looking at this direction, look at the direction, mm, do I do this right there? My mind wanders. I'm not going to become rich that way. It clearly shows that I don't I don't need a thing to become rich. I clearly don't have to be rich. But I want to be rich. That's it. That's the most powerful out of the thing. See the power is all in want, not need and have. No, have and need. What's more powerful, need to become rich or have to become rich? But anyways, more importantly, let's say need and have, right? I need to become rich, I need to pay bills, I have to become rich, why die? I think my have is probably the biggest one. I have the rich so I can pay for my mother's uh, bills, hospital bills, something insane like that. Right. The power is all in want. See my hands? You can just see my hands, I want it. The power is all in want. The power should be more dissipated into the, uh, the needs and have. And when you take action, the power goes from up here, slowly over here. You have to become rich. You need to become rich. And then after a while, like, you, the power dissipates completely because you already are rich. So what's the need? That's why people try to, you know, they say to themselves, oh, I broke every single day, that type of thing. And to me, like, I don't have this. I'm trying to explain a, a completely new topic, new idea of power dynamics and how they transfer within your desire to become wealthy. Or if, 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 uh, in fact, anything that you desire in general. And putting this parallel to myself, like, I've, and what my mom was telling me, like, why don't you just get a job? You've got good income. You know, you, you make some money you can spend on yourself. You can't even explore the world. Like, my intention, I don't care about exploring the world that much. Because if I become rich, exploring the world will become, like, a natural progression of my activity. Like, if I, I'm a multi multi-millionaire and I retire, okay, I'm 35 and I'm retired, I think for the next few years just exploring, chilling with my family. Chilling out, doing whatever the fuck I want with my family. But I'm not. And I'm stuck. I'm not that person. And I have the infinite access uh, resource in the internet via my laptop. And infinite books via my tablet. But I still can't for help but find myself stuck. In the same place, same area. Perhaps more productive than before. Yes, I admit the truth. But still stuck. And it isn't as depressing anymore as it is quite frustrating. It's kind of like just annoying. Like a bug on your shoulder. It used to be like a heavy weight. Oh, trying to go through up a mountain. But that's like a bug on my shoulder. Get off my shoulder, man. And the idea that in 40... Before, hey, Siri. One time I caught it. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. How many days left until the 10th of July? It's 41 days until then. It's 41 days until the 10th of July. I'm going to make another video message when I'm 18. 41 days until I'm 18. And I kind of almost achieved nothing in my life. I think there's a lot of videos I need to make. I'll touch on the topic. My mother once 
me so desperate to get the job because I'm broke. Like to me, but broke to me is quite vicious. Over my thing, I think anyone under fifty thousand pounds in their bank account is broke. Anyone under fifty thousand pounds in their bank account is broke. And yes, I did steal that from Amazon. Because without fifty Gs, I kind of I don't almost don't have the freedom, the leeway to do and go wherever the hell you want. And I could, yeah, I'm so I don't have the freedom, leeway to go wherever I want, do wherever I want. I literally don't. It's frustrating, to say the least. It's very, very frustrating. <sighs> the reason why I titled this video "Get a Job, Baby" is because you know my, that's what mom tells me, and that's what Emily and Marco's mom tells him as well. And Emily and Marco says he goes like a big moment where he's really, really reflecting on his life. And I just watched a video like a hope core video, like you know the sad core depressed core videos. Show the clip that kind of inspired me to make this video. So someone see. Direct parallel to me because I did waste a year at home, and although I did pick up the good habits like working out, reading, etc., etc., and I've been doing them somehow consistently, a lot of them consistently, if, if anything, for eight months, coming on my ninth after the end of today, it's going to be my ninth month of self improvement. Hamza started when he was 17 as well, but to me, like, I'm impatient. It's a deep, deep belief of mine that I'm impatient. Despite my actions these days, like, I don't shake my leg anymore. I, I'm, I'm, I feel calm. I am calm. Somewhere deep inside of me is impatient. I want results now. I want the millions of subscribers now. I haven't done a lot of work for it. Sure, yes, I understand, but I want it now. I want to become rich now. I ask myself the question, how can I get rich quick? And then I co cope with it and say, yeah, we're quick to me is like five, ten years. That's not quick. Within the, the relative to life and within the grandiose, grandeur of life in general, 80 years, 90 years, 100 years, potentially, with Brian Johnson and his innovations, and with innovations that come along in the next five decades, Yes, 100 years is entirely possible to be the new norm. Within those conventions, I'm already crazy. crazy. Within those conventions. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm dead serious. Fuck. Getting rich now, impatient. About ten years, five ten years. Get rich. Within those conventions, yes, the, it is a short amount of time. Five ten years to become rich. If you work hard on yourself, imangaji. If you work hard on yourself for the, the next two to three years. You will become okay. You'll be okay. But I'm impatient. I want the results now, within next month, within the 41 days that I become 18. If not, then get a job, baby. Get a job. Get a job. Get a job. And then I work as a shitty high school dropout job. 
a college dropout job in the UK that I hate. It would be the same outcome. And I could call up and say, yeah, it would be the same outcome had I still went to college. No, it would be different. It could be different. Yeah, no, I agree. It could be different. People might give me a junior doctor or something, junior engineer, junior mechanic. I'm super serious about my career in that aspect, but it would not satisfy me. The amount of satisfaction I get from making my own business and the entrepreneurship thing is so much higher than. The satisfaction I will get in a career. You know, in school and education, all these forms of things, despite the trainship I have and everything else, the Toronto course being so much better than it was before, but it does prove often difficult to be grateful for these type of things because they're so dissatisfying. Job, job, stable income. And I read books of legitimate millionaires, MJ Marco, saying, Yep, no thanks. My work for trust is on it. My world disillusioned. My world for us for the past. It's too much. Thank you, bro. I hope the recording would have made me a bit happier, but it's given me more questions than before, which I don't particularly mind as well because I have a lot more video topics to delve into, etc. etc. I just could become rich. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What the? Uh, is this recording here? It's also recording here.